Hello and welcome back to another Broads Bagodes video. I don't know if you guys know this, but I would call myself a Hearthstone OG. If you don't know what Hearthstone is, it is a card game set out by Blizzard and I played that game a ton. All the way back in beta, when beta keys were sent out, I had one and I played with my buddies. And for about the first two years the game was out, I was an absolute diehard player, purchasing, buying cards, packs, expansions for about the first two to three years. Well, in 2017, I stopped playing during the Journey to Ungoro expansion. And now I'm slowly creeping my way back in all of these years later due to cool content creators and due to some nostalgic clips that I found on YouTube. I used to watch a lot of big Hearthstone creators, people like Forsen, people like Raynat, people like Wreckful, rest in peace. And I have also been watching some current content creators like Raren and seeing Raren play and seeing how fun the game looks right now has brought me back. And so I had a video idea. Now, one of my favorite cards of all time came from the Black Rock Mountain expansion, and that card was Grim Patron. Now, back in my day, there was this nasty little Grim Patron warrior deck with this insane combo to potentially one turn kill your opponent. Now, it's been a lot, a lot, a lot of years since that thing was worth anything, since that deck was valuable at all. But today, I'm gonna be returning and trying to see how long it takes us to get 10 wins with the OG Grim Patron deck. Of course, this will be in wild because 90% of the cards are rotated out, but it's gonna be special. I have a feeling it's going to be extremely hard because of the quality of decks today, but we're gonna see how many, and at the end of the video, I'm going to share with you guys our overall win record. Hopefully we'll be stopping with 10 wins and I will show you how many losses we have as well at the end. Let's get straight into game number one. All right, heading into game number one, and that is the last time I'm going to say what game number it is. Last time, game number one, we are against the Paladin player named Rage, and I think I'm gonna keep Thorissian in hand and dump everything else, and we will start uh, trying to draw some cards and stall out this early game. Now, if I remember how this deck was played correctly, of course, it's all about the Grim Patron but it was also about Emperor really reducing all of the cards in hand by a few mana costs, you would hope, to be able to pull off this one turn kill. So Frothing is one of the most important cards of the deck as well. All right, turn two, we're just gonna armor up and end turn. And so it has a few minions like Acolyte of Pain to be able to kind of stall some time and draw some cards, which is very important. And this is already a mechanic I do not Librams. I do not recognize. Has a pretty nasty looking board here. I think I'm going to armor up, fiery war axe, kill this. I think I'll leave it right there. I could have potentially slammed it. Went no armor, slammed, recruit right here and put down the emperor. Now I could coin this slam here to draw another card because if I can get the Grim Patron out of the deck here to reduce a cost, it would be very valuable. Oh my gosh. And that's exactly what happens. All right, now we're just missing our War Song Commander. If I think that's what the card was called. I don't even remember off the top of my head. Let's see, I'm going to Whirlwind. We're going to Execute. And honestly, I'm gonna put down one frothing to give them something to worry about. I think I'm gonna weapon. Uh oh. That's fine. That is fine. Oh, this character, this card also has rush. Oh man, so many of these cards are so crazy. Resurrect. Okay. It's not gonna have charge though. I think I wanna do this. And this. We're gonna hit this. Alright, let's see if he has some way to handle this board. Okay, taunt. Oh, gives the minion rush. Oh, concentration. Oh. 
All right, now we got some armor, and there's the Warsong Commander a little bit too late. Now, they're running out of cards in hand, and we have 15 life right now. So I think I'll actually play this out because we have Warsong and Frothing right now. And I don't think the deck has any way to take care of that. Job done. And as you guys can see, these wild decks are extremely stacked. So I don't know how long it is going to be taking us to get these 10 wins, but from here on out, all of the games that you guys see will be wins. Sorry for the spoiler. And we will see at the end of the video how many wins and how many losses we ended up with. All right, Douglas Sprato. I think we have to keep the Emperor, correct? I think we always have to keep the Emperor here. Watch this happen. To kind of clue you into what's going on, I'm finally doing the Gr Grim Patron video. We're gonna see how long it takes me to get 10 wins. I've already told oh, the people- a win. I, uh, no, I already told the people of the video that from here on out, they're only going to be seeing wins. And at the end of the video, we will reveal the final score of what our overall record was. So right now we are currently 0-1. We played against some sort of demon or some sort of insane paladin deck last game that was constantly buffing them with Librams or something. Playing wild? Yes, of course this is wild. This is Grim Patron. All of these cards are like rotated out. I thought they would be in standard. But they're what? not standard. Uh, None of these cards are in standard. Not standard. There's another one. It's like a classic one. Wait, is there a classic mode? Because I absolutely yeah. should be playing this in some sort of classic mode if it exists. I don't know. Let me boot up hearts. But welcome to the video. Nomad is going to be here hanging out, being a little bit of a Hearthstone coach because I've been out of the game for way too long. Um, this is game number two right here. We are against the Shaman. I loaded up the screen for you, Nomad, as well, so you can see what's going on. Ah, oh, there's no way I could save the Emperor, though, is there? I think we actually... Is this worth it? Is this... I think it is. Oh, wait, I'm an idiot. You're right. Why didn't I just inner rage my own minion? Mm -hmm. But it would have died either way. So it's it's the same play. Would have gotten an extra, whatchamacallit, though, extra armor. It's up to you, though, if you want to try, if you think that they can survive for a whole turn. No, I don't. That's why I kind of just want to do that. Actually, this is extremely valuable, and it's a lot of things that they would have to take care of. Yeah. All right. So not the official combo that we're looking for. And look, we have a Gromosh off the top now in curve. I kind of just want like a shield block or a battle rage about, oh my gosh. Wait, yeah, wait, this is good. Pool. No, this is so good, isn't it? Yeah, it's gonna it's out of the pool, but you're- Imagine if it doesn't hit this. Imagine if it doesn't hit the Berserker. Oh my God. Wait, what is the chances of that? That means it did two, four, six, eight extra hits without it hitting. Uh, you probably want to test the secret with a grim patron. Right, let's test see the if secret. it's normal sack or not. Let me turn here. Well, three nine plus twenty three. You're close. You got charge if you want. So hold on. So we're at twenty six, twenty nine. This is lethal. Mm-hmm. That is one of the most insane things I've ever seen in Hearthstone. That is one of the most in... No, think about that though. How many times did it hit anything except... Wow, that was crazy. All right, great game there. I'm not gonna say our first win of the, vi of the video. I actually can't say it. All right, what is Twist? All right, guys, we are back for another game, but listen. I am trying out a game mode that I didn't even know existed until 15 minutes ago. We are playing Twist. Now I had to remove two cards to make this eligible deck for Twist. We removed our Gromosh, which actually stings a lot. And we also uh, removed one of the removal cards that isn't allowed in Twist. Apparently Twist is all OG cards and OG decks. So that's what we're out here playing right now. And we're gonna see if this is just a little bit more fair, a little bit more possible than if we were to play um, with all of the cards as they are now. Yeah, we'll get at least one off. What we'll do is, um, we're gonna go face here first. We're gonna go trade here. We'll draw another card and have two Grim Patrons down. Now this is where things are gonna start getting dangerous for him. Cause as you guys can see, we have a Taskmaster hand, we have a Slam in hand. 
That card's going to be very popular, isn't it? Okay, and we have an Inner Rage, so hold on. What can we pop off here? Uh, maybe let's start with a free Inner Rage. Get ready to prep this one to kill the, to trade there. We can pop off a Taskmaster, correct? And deal one down. Oh, I should have done it to that one, yeah. Okay, a little bit of a misplay on my part. My fault. Um, you can slam it to draw a card. Yeah, I kind of want to slam. Wow, I, I wish we would have had that. Now, here's where we get to really decide what we want to do next. I could fiery war axe and just punch that and leave all my grims up. What do you think? Save a war axe? I like that play, actually. Let's save a war axe in case he pops out anything that we need to trade for. And then we'll pass. Okay. I think we should start with shield block, see if we can get the war song. All right, we do not get the war song. So I think the play is this. I mean, is this not good to whirlwind here, spawn two more Grim Patrons, and start beefing up our frothing for next turn? I like this play. Ooh, you're right. I did not play around to swipe, but... All right, not bad. Let's go ahead and do this. Brawl, brawl, brawl. All right, and we get our second win of the video. Thank you, Nomad, for teaching me about twists. Because honestly, I think this will not be uh, this will be more entertaining for the video and for me personally than trying to face meta wild de uh, meta wild decks and get absolutely railroaded over and over again. All right, not my favorite hand I've ever started with. Not enough stall. Not enough draw. Wait, this is potentially huge. We might get a few cards drawn out of this. So this is actually going to look strange, but I'm actually going to hit this, then armor, so I can get ready to battle rage. Alright, so I'm going to take a little bit of extra damage. But right now on board, he has no way to kill the Thrissian, and that is such a good, really good mana off of the Frothing and the Warsong. Alright, I think I go for it though. Wow, there's a Grim though. Wait, actually, I think I want to keep everything, no? Yeah, then. So, actually, let me do this first then, because both those cost zero. So, I'm actually going to do this and this. And then swing face. That was a huge turn. Oh, and I'm just off of the mana for another one, man. I think we'll just take the extra damage. Let him figure out how to take care of it. War Song, Grim Patron, Inner Rage. Face, face. You should not have taps, Mr. Roloff. All right. That brings us to our third win. Nomad, what's stopping me from coining out a Fiery War X? Sense. Oh, that is. Because you, you have nothing after? You wouldn't... Well, I have, I have a slam and a whirlwind after. That is not a slammable creature. That's a bummer. I mean, it is. Just not a worthwhile one. Yeah, it's definitely not worthwhile. I think we're just gonna use one world. I'm gonna hit that because I want to die if he does decide to trade it in. Now, actually, none of the minions that we need are currently in your hand. Yep. You can just continue getting value from if you whirlwind. Well, I know. I'm gonna. And whirlwind, then execute the one on the right. Well, I can do that as well. But why would you want to trade into. Uh, oh, to have another thing for okay. Battle Rage. So I'm gonna watch trade. Yeah. I'll just show you the vision. Battle Rage for two instead of one. And actually, that was pretty sweet, because I think I'll do this now, right? We'll toss this yep. down, then Whirlwind, then zero mana execute, and now we have a 5-3 on the board, and we're gonna have another reduction in cost here. This is actually good. I'm gonna hit this, give it the more attack. This is gonna go face for, I think, 10? No, 9. And this will trade in. Actually, I misplayed that then. I should have traded first to get him to 11 to do two extra damage. All right, so if I lose by two damage, we know it was because of that misplay right there. So we're gonna do this, this, this. And then what is the order I want here? This. Well, no, it does matter because... Face, and out, you're right, that is game, isn't it? And it's gonna break, whirlwind, out tonight, armor up for fun. Nine to the face. And we get the victory royale. Win number four. Old hero power. It's a little bit scary. 
So watch the play here. I know this is off curve, but I think I'm gonna do it exactly this way. Watch the play. Acolyte of Pain. Deal one extra damage to face. Whirlwind. Now watch the play here. How'd you like that? Tell me that wasn't a good play. Clears his board and I draw two there and he potentially is gonna have to ping to give me another card. Now how many cards do I have in hand though? Nope, there we go. We're gonna be good. We're gonna have exactly 10 cards. Oh my God, M or Nomad. Is this not the prettiest game ever? Full hand, look. Oh, look at those mana costs. Let's just get as much damage stacked on that as possible. Death fight is now ready for next turn. We only have seven cards in hand. All right, they just burnt a card as well. 15 cards in there, 13 cards in my deck. All right, well, I'm going to literally do this. And then literally play the Acolyte last because I don't want to draw anymore. You know what? I think the play is stall, isn't it? Because we'll have Despite ready for next round to spawn another one. Plus, then you could battle rage, see if you can find a fucking war song. I should probably do or that now, right? All right, so here we go. War song. Grim. So I think I want to start like this. This. Now. This. Exactly, Phil. Beautiful, man. Oh my gosh. What just came, what just happened? Discover a new bat, uh. No, I know, that used to be one of my favorite cards, man. And a Murloc, it was always in my Murloc deck. Yeah, I think he's literally playing my one of my favorite decks of all time. The Explorer's Murloc Paladin deck. That's exactly what I'm gonna do, actually. Let's do this. We're gonna go face here. It's gonna kill that and draw me another card. All right, we draw an Execute. That's pretty solid. We still have the Acolyte on board. Full hand, end turn. All of the combo pieces are now cheaper. Wait, do I have... There's no way I have lethal in hand this turn, right? Uh, he's gonna overdraw something. Um, but I have I have one piece of all the things in my hand. Oh my god, please tell me you kill this, right? All right, here we go. You, you, you're two mana off. Two mana frothing. Face to everything for now. Whirlwind. What a beautiful game. And that's either six or seven wins right there. I kind of forgot, but I'm not willing to go look it up. Are we joking with another mirror match with the warrior here? All right, what deck you cooking up over here, buddy? Coining what out? Oh no, surely that can't be right. I think to keep the cards down, I have to do this, right? So now he'll only get a maximum of- Wait, Fiery War Axe, oh no. Wait, are we playing mirror mats? It just, I just got a notification that you, uh, I think we're doing a mirror match right now. Cook. Strike. Oh, we are playing a mirror match. I just burned a war song. Okay, that is a huge piece of their combo gone. Here's the issue. If they have Thorson in hand, they're about to get well nine. Well played. Oh! Burn the war song and they decide to let it go. What a game. All right, we hit silver 10 in twists. And that was our seventh win, I'm pretty sure. Seven wins, three more to go. Okay. Oh God, look, look Nomad. We go face. Oh we no, go face. golden gold hunter. Surely this won't make me insta die, surely. Okay, war song, that's good. And okay, hold on. We're actually looking so good right now. Please coin out like a three health minion. That'd be so huge. All right, we're gonna have two Grims that cost less and a War Song that costs less. Now we just need to get some of our whirlwinds or maybe a Taskmaster, maybe a Battle Rage. 
Not battle rage, maybe a whatever that one's called. Ooh, that's not good actually. Alright, now we're looking so good for next turn Taurus, and even though it's not on curve. Sitting at 28 HP, he has that many cards in his hand as a hunter, though? Is he playing big hunter? Big game hunter? Could be. I don't think it's dangerous enough. I mean, I think I do, this do you think he's going to try roll out of control? No, because look how valuable it is, because now I can... I could win right here. Help me think, help me think, no mad. So no matter what, it's Warsong Grim with a reduced price, right? Now, 2-2. Removes the damage. Now 2-1 removes the damage. Now I think I... What do I do here? I mean... You cleared the board, but the best you could do. You could enter rage for one more. But you're gonna... Load up the boards. No, I love that turn though, especially because look, I have another Warsong Grim Patron in my hand. Oh, good lord, I'm about to fuck this. Everything's about to be cleared. Um. Now you have one thing alive. Wait, I was nowhere close. Why did I think I had lethal? I don't know. Please don't have a, another way to do 10 damage in hand. He's gonna have King Crush in his hand or something. Oh wait, Could've he doesn't been. have enough mana. He doesn't have enough mana. So we have some serious lethal opportunity on board. Another Grim in hand, so he obviously has to kill the War Song, but he also has to kill the Frothing, or the Frothing's gonna be get, getting bigger every time he tries to clear something. A Huffer, okay, Huffer deals with that, which makes it 19. He needs to do seven more damage. He just goes face. Now, can I punish that to win the game? Surely, help me, Nomad. Surely there's lethal here with Death Spite and with a Cruel Taskmaster. Death Spite's not gonna be able to hit, so you, the most no, you no, can- No, 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 can, again. Yeah, you just you just hit uh, the Musha or whatever, then just go face with the one hitting the Taskmaster. And Grim Patron wins another game, baby. God, I miss Grim Patron. Everyone get freaking in here. All right, that was win number eight. We only need two more wins. Chugs or... Did Acolyte of Pain used... No way, he just... One, three. All right, I like this game so far, but I don't remember the old Shaman decks. Like, is this guy gonna be absolutely dangerous? Unlock your mana crystals, give Wind Fury. And he's still go... Wait, he just... The hell? All right, there is something to do here. Lose? No, shut up. That's not that bad, right? Grim Patron. So what's the best way to do this? Taskmaster. Alright, so what would you do here? Would you use the brand new Grim, Grim Patron and the Taskmaster to hit in so you can keep both ta to keep both uh I think I actually am gonna do that. Yeah, because you're just both lightning storm anyways, but I would trade uh, War Song and Armor Smith into the Mana Tide. Strike! Alright, if I lose my three damage, I'll remember this. Why is he screaming? Is he gonna have that storm that do three damage lightning to everything? Storm? Yeah, I mean if he has lightning storm, he has lightning storm. Alright, here we go. I'm killing my own frog, but we have two patrons down. You only have seven mana because you keep overloading yourself. You just played five removal spells. What do you have to stop me from doing the seven damage on board right now? And if you kill, you have more removal. You just use seven uh, removal yeah. spells in a row. Crackle, zap. Dude, lava burst. Lava burst. Do that. Whirlwind, hit three for face, and we're in the same exact situation we were last turn. No way, if he lava burst this one, I'm gonna throw up. No, he only has two, but he does have another lightning bolt. See, this is why you need a deck tracker. Or you, deck or trackers you are way too expensive. Oh, shut up. Stolen joke, you dumb bitch. Or Not the top one. Not the top one! W. The worst one. Don't worry. Best game! Don't...
Let's freaking go, man. That was win number nine, baby. Which means with just over two hours into the recording, we are on to potentially the final game. Oh, another gold gold. What do you mean gold Can, gold? What do you mean? It's just gold. No, it's two different things. Hero power and portrait. He's gold portrait and gold hero power, which means he's level 50 and five, uh, five, 200 wins? 500 wins? How many is it? 500 wins. 500 wins. It's just 500 wins. That's what it was. I don't know. Right, let's Jesus go and say what Christ. Girl. That's a throwback. That is a throwback and a half. That used to be the best minion for such a long time. All right, what do I want to play here? I draw and get two more armor though. I have both Warsong, both Frothing in my hand. That card was technically banned. That four mana seven seven. That was banned competitively. I'm really not gonna draw and execute. There it is. No matter if we can recover from this game right now, this would be a generational performance. I'm not even going to lie. This would be a performance of a lifetime. I'm really gonna draw everything in the world except for Thorison. Dude, I have nine cards left. I have every combo piece in the deck. Look, two Grim, two Warsaw, two Frothing. Well, yeah, he's gonna have to choose what he wants to kill now. Cause look, he's got three damage and he should be terrified of both those. Why? Because you can slam from one uh, and generate from another. You're gonna slam that one. The way we would have a five. Come on. You just overload yourself three and you just played the whatever that lightning storm thing. You had both. I have no other win cons in my hand. I had to go face with everything. You better roll the. You better roll the ton totem, or I'm gonna stuff it in your butthole. Hunter. What? Ugh. But what is he gonna do with it? Really? Oh my god, he went face. Yep. Wow. What a crazy way to win game number ten, dude. Holy. Moly. Guys, that's 10 wins, one win in Wild, and then the other nine wins in Twist. I appreciate you guys for watching the video. Grim Patron is such a fun deck to play, but sadly, in anything like Wild nowadays, it's gonna get absolutely booty slammed. So definitely do not try it over there. But Twist seems to be a ton of fun, especially if you like some of the OG content like I do. The final score of the video was 10 wins, like we said, and seven losses. So in total, we only played 17 games with the Grim Patron, and that is a lot better than I thought it would perform. I thought we were going to be in the double digit losses, maybe even two times the amount of wins, maybe 20 losses. So overall, 10 and seven, very fun deck to play. And I had a good time. Any uh, final words before we end the video, Nomad? No. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you in potentially another Hearthstone challenge. Peace out.